We're with NSU head baseball coach Travis Jansen. Coach, uh, you guys had a, an amazing season last year. Take us through it. Give us some of the highlights. It, it was. It was a really good starting point. You know, I was very proud of the efforts last year by the players, the assistant coaches, and, and uh, it was um, it was a fun year. You know, I think some of the things that were highlights, as you say, you know, number one was. Um, you know, we had a winning record. That's the first time that's happened in a while. We finished with a 25 and 24 record. That was a 19 win improvement from the year before, so we're proud of that. Uh, academically, our guys worked very hard in the classroom, and um, I think we probably talk about academics um, certainly as much as anybody else that I know of as far as baseball programs, and our team GPA was over a 3.0, so that's very good for a group of, of 30 five some athletes so that that was very uh, that's impressive I'm proud of that and then also you know our team chemistry was really really good and, and um, that was that was a lot of fun that our guys uh, kind of gelled together and we're going to try to build on that going into this year. Um, you're heading into your second year as head baseball coach here what are some of the differences between you know coming into the program as a first year head coach as opposed to you know having year under your belt? Well I think the first thing I think about is um, just the pace of the days are a little bit slower. I mean, just getting through, getting gear, through year one, and, and there was there was a lot of things that we wanted to change, and a lot of things that we wanted to improve. And with the help of administration, you know, we have a brand new locker room that's really really nice, and facilities are getting better. Or you know, our playing surface is getting better. We're continuing to to try to make that better, and just able to try to. Uh, you know, like I said, the pace of the days are a little bit slower, and we've at least been through it for a year. My two assistant coaches work really hard. We've been together for a year, and so we kind of know what makes each other tick. And, and um, So just some of the transition is a little bit smoother this year. Now, the collegiate baseball season is in the spring. Everybody knows that. But what are some of the things that takes place over the summer and then heading into the fall season that you know most fans don't know about? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is summer, the summer months were spent recruiting. And uh, we brought in 16 new newcomers to the program. And, and um, first impressions, they are, they've all seemed to be good character people, and they seem to have been working hard, and they're doing what we're asking. They've gotten off to a good start. So a lot of recruiting, um, a couple of speaking engagements. I, got the, I was honored enough and I was humbled enough to get to speak in front of the Oklahoma High School Coaches Association. That was a really neat opportunity. And um, just just trying to continue to make the program better throughout the summer months, and then into the fall, um, we start. We do have off-season workouts. We hit the weight room pretty good, and then uh, whatever the NCAA allows us to do, we're, we're able to get on the field, and, and we do practice within those limitations. What do you, <clears throat> you know, everyone always asks about expectations, but just what are you looking forward to for the spring uh, season coming up in January? I think the first thing I'm looking forward to is just to see how everybody gels together. We're so early in the fall right now, we're going through a process where, um, you know, guys are still getting their feet on the ground. We're, we're in the process of getting comfortable, and we try not to ignore that. We understand that guys are away from home for the first time, and and guys are new to NSU for the first time, and the old guys are meeting the new guys. And um, sometimes your baseball abilities don't come out until you can get comfortable. So we're just, we I guess we're respecting that process. We're taking our time, and we're getting, you know, having our guys make sure they get comfortable with each other. And so I'm looking forward to seeing how the team gels together, and um, just seeing how it develops. And, and we're just trying to get a little bit better each day. All right, Coach Jansen, thanks for the time and best of luck to you. Thank you very much.